Hi, I'm Damien Key, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can use the ultrasonic sensor to detect objects, but not run into them. So this is the ultrasonic sensor that we're going to be using for the next challenge. The way that the ultrasonic sensor works is out of one of the openings, it will send out a very high frequency sound wave. Now this sound wave comes out at 40 kilohertz, which is far above what we can hear. So as humans, we can't hear it. That sound wave will travel through the air, hit an object and bounce back to the robot coming back in the other opening in the ultrasonic sensor. The robot, by doing a little bit of calculation, can determine how far away the object is. We're going to use this information to make our robot drive up to the wall and stop before it reaches the wall. So what's the first thing we want our robot to do? Well, in our case, as we're driving up to the wall, the first thing we want the robot to do is to start driving. So we will use a move block. Looking at the configuration panel, we want to drive forward in a straight line. 75% power is a good speed to be going at. The duration, however, what duration do we want in there? One rotation, six rotations, 10 seconds, a thousand degrees. We actually don't know how far away the wall is. And in this case, we cannot give it a set duration. Instead, we're going to choose the unlimited command. The unlimited says to the motors, just start driving and a different block will tell you when to turn off. After we have our robot up and moving, what's the next thing we need the robot to do? In our case, we want the robot to sense the wall. So we go to this weight block and choose the weight for distance. In this block, let's check a few things in the configuration panel. Yes, we're using a sensor. Yes, we're using the ultrasonic sensor. In my case, I have my ultrasonic sensor connected to port 4. Double check what it is on your robot. This next section is the part that makes this block work. And what it says is wait until the distance gets smaller than 50 inches. Now in our case, we are not going to use inches, we're going to use centimeters. And we're looking at this section here. Are we waiting for a greater than thing to happen or a less than thing to happen? In our case, as we're driving up to the wall, the distance is getting smaller and smaller, so we want a less than condition. 127 centimeters is a bit much for us. We want to stop a little bit closer to the wall, so I'm just going to choose 15 centimeters. So now we're saying, make the robot drive and let us know when we see the wall. The next command is very important. What do we want to do once we've seen the wall? It's no good telling the robot just to continue driving. We want the robot to stop. So to do that, we will use another move block and choose the stop option. So again, to recap, make the robot start driving, wait until you see a wall less than 15 centimeters, and then stop the motors. Let's download this and see how it goes. Not bad at all. Now it's your turn.